My name is Ted Beck, and I'm served on the Parks and Recs Board for District 1 for a period of 25 years. In many of those years, I have served as chairman. Uh, I have sponsored uh, and been involved in, in three referendums for District 1, and particularly Titusville, and so far they've all been successful. I'm John DeVos. I'm chaplain for the Titusville Fire and Emergency Services. Uh, I have uh, volunteered in this position since July the 1st of 1996, which means that I'm in my 15th year. It's been a very gratifying experience. And I work in the city, I live here, and I think that everyone should contribute something to the benefit of the city. And since I'm interested in, in the children and parks, that's why I volunteered for the Parks and Recs uh, Board, and I've enjoyed it. I was first asked by Phil Boyles, former chaplain, to kind of come on board to uh, assist him and help him when he might not be available. And uh, so I started uh, with Phil. <clears throat> of course, about three months after I started working with him, he left town. I don't know whether there's any connection there or not. But uh, then, of course, uh, I fell into the position full time. And uh, I've always uh, been interested in uh, community. I'm a retired Baptist minister having served uh, 55 years in the ministry, and I've just always been involved in community uh, activities. And in retirement, I was uh, looking for uh, some type of ministry or involvement uh, where I felt like uh, I was needed and could be of help in a time of need. Uh, we went from the city paying uh, an individual to a, a, a county sponsored uh, f uh, funding and it's made it better for both the county and the city. Uh, MS, there's a county MSTU for parks and recs and the city we have to make sure the city of Titusville gets their fair share. And we have had uh, about three referendums. That's why you see the new parks in, uh, in the city. Well, <clears throat> I suppose the biggest change has been in the personnel. Uh, during that time, we've had a lot of uh, the men who had been uh, in service for a number of years have reached uh, their retirement time and have uh, gone on to other things. Uh, we've had new people come in at the administrative level. Uh, <clears throat> so I guess probably the biggest change, uh, I would say, is in the personnel that uh, uh, make up our uh, forces here uh, in the service. Uh, of course, I've uh, watched uh, change in equipment as they have upgraded and improved the equipment that uh, they have to use. Uh, basically, uh, from my standpoint and in my area of service, uh, there's not been a lot of change. Uh, you're there to help people uh, when they have a need. My uh, work primarily <clears throat> has to deal with uh, people who are in a time of crisis, a time of death, or uh, when they've been burned out of their home, uh, this type of thing. And then, of course, in addition to this, I'm available for all of our uh, fire department personnel uh, as they have needs, uh, time of sickness or injury, uh, even in time of death, I have the privilege of, of ministering uh, to those families also. And I would like to tell others about volunteering in the city, that they need to do something for the city, if you want to have a better city, better parks, do something, volunteer, get on a committee, 
and stay on it so you learn to know what's happening. And I would recommend anybody that wants to serve, uh, get on the Parks and Recs board. I have enjoyed every minute of it. We've had our ups and downs, but in all in all, it's been a pleasure to serve on the board. Do it. Uh, that's kind of a, that's a short answer for a Baptist preacher, usually. <laughs> we take longer to say what we want to say, but uh, you'll find it gratifying. You'll find it, uh, first of all, beneficial to you as an individual because it gives you a sense of being needed. Uh, it gives you a sense of accomplishing things that uh, need to be accomplished. And of course, it's beneficial to uh, that area that you're volunteering in, whether it might not be the fire department, it might be other areas of uh, volunteering. But <clears throat> there are so, so very many needs out there that uh, need to be met and uh, few people that uh, are there to help meet it. So if you're considering it, uh, if you have a particular area of interest, uh, then uh, pursue that area and look around and see if uh, there are positions of uh, volunteer openings uh, in that particular area. But uh, by all means, uh, you need to uh, make yourself available.